Hey, this is the third game in the series of TVZs. You are playing against Talented, Talented, Talented. On this map, which I have thumbs down because it's hard to do TVP on this map. <coughs> it's pretty good for TVZ, though, I would think. So again, uh, you scouted a gas. So you know that you, your attacking window is before five minutes. And if you come too late, then he's going to have ling speed and you're going to get dominated. So lucky for you, even though he got an early gas, he didn't get an early ling speed because he's, I don't know, just stupid or something. And you did a great job hiding between these minerals and getting stuff done. You've stopped mining for a really long time. You forced him to produce ten more lings after he already had enough lings to, to beat you and so he's way behind economically at this point. He only has 16 drones at 7 minutes. That's crazy. So you should have 27 drones at this point. I mean workers at this point but you only have 23. So you're 4 behind uh, and that's that's a constant theme between all three of these games. You're always about 25% behind, percent behind on, on worker production. And again that's just because you're not queuing up. You should always queue up 3 workers at your command centers. Um, and uh, then, oh, nilly. Another thing to be cautious of. I, I, it's good that you don't have any guys in it, but I would say don't even build the next two refineries until you've started two two. You have just enough gas to build one one uh, factory and armory and two two. If you just have two geysers. Um. So I like to just ride on two geysers until I've started 2-2 and then throw down my four geysers after that to get these double star ports and throw down my reactor cores and all that kind of stuff. And by going as light on gas as possible, you give yourself the most possible minerals. Obviously, less gas equals more minerals. And minerals is what you need to survive a, an 8-minute or a 9-minute or a 10-minute all-in from Zerg. Because if he shows up with a $5,000 army at 10 minutes and your army size is... 2,000 plus 300, then uh, 2,200 dollar army size against a 5,000 dollar um, roach or ling baneling all in, you would just be dead. And you did a good job of producing enough marines. I feel like you did even a better job than I usually do of producing enough marines. So good, good work there. Just saying, the less gas you get, the more marines you get, the better likelihood that you'll survive some sort of early, early push. Um. That thing is obnoxious. It's getting roach speed and some roaches and uh, infestors and banelings, and you're getting your armory soon. Here goes the armory, so that you can start two two. This is pretty well timed. Your armory is going to finish a little bit late, but you know, good enough. And as your star port finishes, you're getting your reactor and tech lab, so that you can get Banshee Medivac, and I like that too. You're starting to attack upgrade, but not to armor because again, you don't have enough gas. <coughs> and the reason you don't have enough gas is because you started... You got reactor cores really early, even though you didn't particularly need them. I mean, if you look, uh, y you're not using off. your racks. All of your racks, all the time. I mean, you're starting to use them now because you saved up a whole crap ton of minerals because you weren't using them before. But before, I mean, like, yeah, now they're not being used, now they're being used. Oh, alright. So this attack is waiting for 2-2, two -two, and 2-2 two -two is a little bit delayed because your armor upgrade was was gas blocked. Um, so you're because you have to delay your attack, you're also delaying your third. Being 16 minutes in with no third is bad. Uh, as you can see, the the Zerg has a bigger income than you right now, and you never want that to happen. Um, and also, you're starting your third after 2-2, two -two, and I don't like that. You want to start your third at like 13 minutes and float it down after 2-2 two -two and protect it with your dudes. And now you've got this big problem that you only have, well, when you pushed out you only had four four medevacs and a billion marines. Now you have three more, so you have seven medevacs and a billion marines. And you're going to do one of the most horrible mistakes in the universe ever, which is to try to do this elevator abuse with too many units. And I showed this in, in, in hopefully on the unit test map. But when you have 109 marines, 
it's just impractical, impractical to do elevator abuse with 109 marines. Elevator abuse is something you want to do with 20 marines, or 30 marines, or 10 marines. Um, so that battle goes really badly for you. Uh, before the battle, I think you were ahead by, by 1,000, and now... Yeah, so you were ahead by 800. <coughs> so then you do the drop with no spreading out of units at all. These units are all nice and clumped up, and they just get bailing splashed, and the splashes are very efficient. Now you're down by a thousand, so that was a terrible spread. Then you come with a secondary attack over here, <coughs> and because of this bad spread over here that the infestors take advantage of, you're you're now down a thousand more. So after the first battle, you're down a thousand. After the second battle, you're down two thousand total. And then this is the first real battle where you're fighting with a small number of well spread out troops versus his army and this goes really well for you um, obviously you lose all your dudes but while you lose your dudes you catch all the way back up to being pretty much even with him on units lost so the first battle was bad second battle was bad um, and the third battle was good third battle you were fighting roach hydra against marine medevac and it just came out pretty good for you <coughs> So now the third battle he's going to come and try to knock down your planetary fortress and he's going to succeed and he's going to walk away and now you're mining off of zero base here, one in less than half of a base. So your combined mineral uh, chunks is very, it's like seven or something so you have no income at all. And now you're just going to starve. And again the reason you starved is because you didn't secure a third or a fourth uh, in, in a reasonable amount of time but also uh, because those first two battles had very bad links, uh, not ling, very bad marine spread. Also, if you look, your gas is ridiculously high, and your gas always gets ridiculously high as a symptom of not having a mineral income. It's not like you're mining too much gas; it's that you're not mining enough minerals. Um, so, this battle is actually going to go really well for you, because uh, again, marine medevac versus non-AOEing units, roach. Roach Ultra just comes out pretty well for you. So you, you pulled ahead by like 800 with that battle. <coughs> now you've pulled ahead by another 1,000. Pulled ahead by uh, another 1,000, uh, another 2,000. So you pulled, you pulled ahead by 3,000 in that battle. That battle went very well for you. And Ultra Roach uh, with no Banelings and no Infestors will always go quite well for the Terran. Um, it, it looks like a scary army until the battle starts and then you realize that those are both tanking units, they're not damage dealing units, and tanking units do poorly against healing and medevac equals healing. So this game is over just because he's taken a million bases and uh, you, you have almost no income, but the actual battle of, of uh, Ultra Roach Hydra versus Marine Medevac Marauder went really well for you. So uh, yeah, this is just another kind of example game of how your your lack of economy and your lack of securing an early third and then just kind of bad marine spreads and bad positioning on the battles really hurt you. And again, the marine the bad marine spreads really comes down to having too many marines. Um it, it's it's a lot easier to just spread a small number of marines than a large number of marines, but I've said that a billion times now, so you must hopefully get it by now. Um, you're completely mined out at your main and your expo. We've got a bunch of workers and nothing to do with them, so... Ooh, you killed an ultra inside of an overlord. Good work. So this is a position that it's kind of...